Hey folks, Jihondo here, and welcome back to our little town here of Turston in Rimworld. This is episode 5. Uh, so, just getting ready for today's episode, I noticed a couple of things. Um, we had Mel pick up that Psylink, and I did give her uh, some meditation time, but I never actually gave her the meditation spot, which I had noticed. We, we um, I should, sorry, I should start over a little bit here. Uh, Based on our ideology, we are okay with either Dignified or Natural, and we do have an Anima Tree nearby, so that is what we are going to use. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? There you are. I don't know if it matters exactly how close... Oh, I guess it does. It has to be quite close. That's fine. Right there will do. Glorious. And I am recording a little bit early today, so I haven't had a chance to look at comments, but I expect... Somebody must have noticed. I got the kitchen set up. But I never actually told them to make anything, so not real helpful. <laughs> anyway, uh, for now we're just going to do, actually we should do times fours. Uh, we're just going to do some simple meals, just so we have a couple. And we want to always have, eh, ten's probably fine. We will drop that on the floor. Perfect. Okay, there we go. So now at least they'll actually start cooking. Uh, who was our cook after all that? Uh, it was probably you, right? Kyra. Actually, as an eight, you could probably do lavish meals, but we'll just do simple for now. I just want them to have something. All right, let's go. And the other thing I was looking at is I was thinking I might want to give Scotty here like an actual bed to get rid of these. So I could build him one, or I could just wait for the prison. Um, when I later recruit him, he's going to need a bed anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it to him now. Doesn't terribly matter where it goes, we'll put it right there, that'll do. And that should be... Yeah, normal's fine. Doesn't have to be fantastic. That'll do. Excellent. Let them sleep here, and then we'll get them going. As a reminder, we are still researching geothermal, uh, geothermal power. That's going to take a while, but it's going to be awesome when we get it. Batteries are easily holding out overnight because we don't really have a whole lot going on. Like, we have the cooler and, I guess, the kitchen, although it's not really doing much. So, we have more than enough power. Two solar cells is tons for what little we're using. Um, I was thinking, actually, I may want to plunk in some heaters, although it's... We won't really need them until winter, but that would let me stop using this campfire, which is just wasting wood. So I think we'll do that. So we will tell that to stop auto refueling and let's plunk in just a couple of heaters. I don't know that we need very many of them. Probably not. Um, is one going to be enough though? I guess we'll just start with one and we'll see how it goes. It's uh, getting late enough into the year, like to close up towards summer, I mean, uh, we shouldn't need it for quite a while anyway, so. The only other thing I guess this thing is doing is it's giving off some light, and that's something we should probably do, is give them some lights. That would be awfully nice of us. we we'll use these really nice wall lights. I'm going to have to run power around, I guess, but that's alright, we can do that. no idea what the radius on these things is so I don't know if this is enough too many or not enough but we will figure it out yeah let's go with that and then we will extend the power grid around let's just do the whole thing we're not too bad for steel so it'll be all right yeah we've got 700 that's tons and we are getting more at the moment anyway, so absolutely not worried about it. Excellent. There we go, Dips is working on that. Light looks good. Like I said, I'm gonna wait for that fire to go out. There's no point in just tearing it down if it's not, uh, it's not hurting anything. So we might as well get some value out of it. 
heater is up. Now yeah, 21 targets, totally fine. They like 21. Is it outside? Oh, it's 29 outside, so this isn't even doing anything. I guess we'll wait till overnight and see what it gets down to, but during the day that's not going to be doing anything. Maybe we should, if anything, be giving them a cooler. Yeah, obviously not as cold as the freezer's going to be, but some temperature control would be good. thing I was thinking is I was originally planning on waiting until our first raid to increase the difficulty but the more I got thinking about it, um, it this really is far 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 too easy like really nothing scary is happening at all so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now if I come to read it later so be it <laughs> there's always the next colony right <laughs> you tell me there's low food and I absolutely agree with you but why is the cooking not getting done oh is it gonna be the prisoners taking all the food bit again uh, who isn't terribly busy right now Kieran you don't look terribly busy why don't you come here grab that rice come over here and drop it for me this will become much less of a problem when I'm no longer using the freezer as a prison, of course. I won't have to keep micromanaging this. Thank you, Kira. Thank you so much. If anything, maybe I should have told her, I should have forced her to actually cook some things while she was standing right there, but that's okay. It'll be okay. They'll get by. you'll automatically assign yourself the next time you sleep. That's fine. Not a problem. Those things coming up here. Eh, still got a fair ways to go. The mining is still pretty slow because your skill is not that great. Hey, there we go. Excellent. All right, so you are now the right ideologian. So now we can get you recruited. And now that we have, theoretically, four people in our ideal religion, you are ready for an actual role. So the priest is going to be somebody who is very social. So probably not you. So I'll just have Dips be the... Yeah, I think Dips is going to be... Right, I should actually have an ideology spot. That's a very good point, game. I 100% agree with you. <laughs> uh, where should we put it, though? I guess for now it can just stay in here. This one room is kind of doing everything for us, but... We can always move stuff later. For now, I just want to get stuff moving. spent here is less time mining which is unfortunate but I think this is important so we're gonna do this yeah low mood well having me slept on the floor go away is helpful the uncomfortable should also help a little bit oh darkness yeah I guess there's no reason we can't give them some lights right I mean, technically, I don't really need lights in what's going to be the freezer, but at least temporarily. There's no reason we can't put at least a little bit of light in there for him. We're not total monsters yet. <laughs> I try to keep my war crimes to a minimum. I try. It doesn't always work, though. 
Anyway, you are now done, so dips can become priest. Well, I guess we're also going to have to decide who's going to be leader and um, plants person as well. But for now, it's a good point. Who is our plants person? See, Dips should be the plants person. So maybe Mel should be the leader and Kira the priest? Oh, your social is terrible. And when we get you, you're not going to be that either. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I suppose we'll always have the option to get plant people much easier than social people, so... I will make Dips the, the priest after all. It may not be ideal, but technically we can always change them anyway, so... Please do let me know in the comments if I'm absolutely destroying myself here by doing this, but I don't think it should be a big deal. Okay, Dips, congratulations on becoming a priest. Now that is a cool effect. I like that. There we go. Okay. I don't think it's actually possible to fail those kind of rituals. I've never, at least I've never seen it, and I can't imagine there would be ever a reason why that would be the case. But very cool. And that actually gives you the option to do a extra convert, which I believe, and I could be wrong here, is not the same as like just the standard. You know, when you're doing conversions, which basically gives you an extra chance to accelerated conversion. Now we don't need to do that, of course, we've already converted them, but in for future that will be very helpful. It's a shame there isn't like a recruit option, that would be very nice. Well I suppose uh, you can kind of do it indirectly by bringing their mood up, but I'm not super worried about that. Why is the dog sleeping here? Did I never... Did I never give the dog a sleeping spot? I didn't, probably, did I? Well, that was silly. Okay, uh, the dog can sleep. Uh, where should we have the dog sleep? Yeah, right there should be nice. And we'll give a second one in case we ever get a second animal. I'm sure we will at some point. There you go. Unless, of course, it's too hot in here. No, it shouldn't be too hot in here. I don't think that's why the dog went over there. That would be... Uh, <laughs> That'd be a bit nuts. Speaking of the dog, how's the training going? Oh, the training is completely done for guard. Excellent. Very good. Who's, why are people starving? Are you not cooking still? No, we have plenty of food. Which you have moved over again. Why do you keep doing that? You're preferred. You're preferred. I didn't put raw food on in here. Ah, please feel free to yell at me in the comments. I totally deserve it. Okay. Okay. Right. One more time. Kira, if you could be so kind. Ah, yeah. Don't I feel silly? And also, am I losing my mind or did this move on me? Bizarre. Anyway, okay, here we go. A real actual raid. Now that we have the skill setting up a teensy bit. I'm expecting this to be a little bit worse than. No, it's still only one dude. Okay. Like I know our colony wealth isn't good, but I kind of expected a little more than one guy with a knife. Alright, well, so be it. Um, I didn't notice. Are you attacking right away? No, you are waiting. So, um, maybe we'll just go and 
take care of. We'll just go take care of them. And I wonder if it means I need to actually... Oh, thanks for that. Um, if I need to increase the skill setting even more... Yeah, that's going to be a problem in a little bit, but let's sort out the... Let's sort out the raid first. Oh, okay, you're now coming to me. That's good. Oh, that was a very fast flash storm. I know they don't normally last a real long time, but I kind of expect a little longer than that. Having said that, it did a pretty good job. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, we killed him, so there's no chance of... No chance of a prisoner. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Would you have been any good? Well, you could have been a good backup vet, but... Well, not so much vet part, but animals anyway. But no, otherwise you were pretty terrible, so we're not really missing anything. Okay, good. Thank you, everyone. Off you go. Uh, we should probably start a more permanent corpse pile than what's going to be over here, so maybe we will plunk in... We should probably plunk in some graves. Uh, I thought they were under mis... Oh, there they are, right there. I was going to say, I thought they were under miscellaneous. I didn't think they would have moved. Uh, where should we put these? Let's just put a whole pile of them down here for now. That'll do. Is this still good? No. Very much not good. <laughs> Did you have no gear at all? No gear at all. Okay. So not only was he just one dude with a knife, he didn't even have any clothes on, let alone armor. So not what I would call much of a threat. Well, I'll give the game a bit more time. Maybe it's still getting used to the new difficulty setting. But if that's the kind of raids we're going to get, I'm going to have to bump it up again, because that was frankly not a concern whatsoever. Yeah, you're making definite progress. I would like it a bit faster. But your mining just isn't really all that good. And I know it's part of that is they just don't like doing it. Because the ideology doesn't like mining. But it's got to get done. But So you're just going to have to... You're going to have to get on with it. Like it or not. Going to need some beds in here. We might as well get that going. What else will we need? Well, we're going to need heating and cooling. So we might as well get that going. The more of this we can get set up ahead of time, obviously, the better. Uh, power is probably going to come in from this side, so it probably makes sense to plunk this kind of on the left, more or less. Yeah, okay. Just pressed R again. I don't know why I keep doing that. It's definitely not R. It's never been R. It's not even R in... Oh my, that is getting rapidly out of control. Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe we will make kind of a line here and try and keep the fire back that far. Because this I could see being a big problem. Where is the rain? I would like to see some rain. like to see some rain guys. Can I have some rain please? Little bit. Little bit. <laughs> Let's speed you up a bit. Hmm. 
No, see, I asked you to change the weather, but I didn't want you to make it worse. <laughs> That's not quite what I meant. <laughs> See, I know you're tired, and that's lovely and all, but this is a problem. So, uh, out you go. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Now we're getting some rain. Okay, now we'll be fine. Now the thunderstorm is still going to put out new fires, but the rain should take care of them anyways. There we go. Okay. I'm going to call that crisis averted. And on that happy note, it looks like we're already out of time. That went awfully fast. So, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. All that happy YouTube stuff that I beg for every time. <laughs> and in the meantime, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. See ya.